So traditionally, uh, identifying areas that lacked internet access relied a lot on uh, guesswork, but uh, AI is challenging that. So by analyzing data sets uh, with AI that contain points on satellite imagery, uh, population statistics, it can pinpoint those unconnected areas uh, with a lot more accuracy. So think of it as a more efficient way of uh, bridging the digital divide. Um, but that's just one part of the puzzle, thanks to AI. We can also build really powerful databases uh, to map the current infrastructure, so things like cell towers, fiber nodes, uh, fiber optic cables as well, uh, and identify areas maybe where there's over overlapping coverage or uh, just areas where resources could be better utilized. So um, I would say that by combining AI uh, and advanced AI-powered databases, uh, the ITU and the UPU uh, can target all of those resources a lot more effectively. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to dig into data from the Universal Postal Union for the first time during this hackathon. Uh, I think it'll be very valuable to myself and my team members uh, just to use this data to see where people in developing countries are currently accessing the postal service to trade. Um, I'm also very grateful to the involvement of uh, Amazon Web Services at the hackathon because uh, it's, uh, it'll be an opportunity to discover the analytical tools that they can provide and maybe you know, we'll end up using them in our day-to-day -day work. Um, and yeah, I'm also very grateful for the new uh, links that I'm making with uh, colleagues at the UPU.